Today, me and a few of my teammates are gonna be on Good Day New York. It's gonna be my first ever live television appearance. Um, I'm super excited. In an elevator. My boy Yo. Nate. And we've been joined by the third person coming on TV today, my man Goofy. We're in the MSG Networks building. We're just grabbing these laptops super quick. Then we gotta run over to the nearest subway station and go to Good Day New York. Single ride or no metro rest. cross? Single ride or metro cross? First time on the subway, Let's see what's happening. I'm officially about to become a New Yorker. I'm buying my first ever subway card. How you doing, bro? Slide and walk. Bro, it's not working, bro. Pretty packed on here. Yeah, this is not bad, though. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's like, Yo, Nick, we did it. We did it, man. We did it. It wasn't that bad. Alright, guys, so we're officially in the green room. I want to introduce you to someone amazing. We just met right now. How are you? I'm uh, Adam. I'm Davey Johnson. And, and you brought something special with you today. Uh, World Series ring. Can I see that, Goofy? Hi, this is the you? official World Series ring. Oh, that is out of this world. Yeah. Hey, Kudo. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You look pretty. First time ever getting makeup done. That's not my first time. I'm just joking. <laughs> the NBA decided to partner with 2K to create uh, a 2K league, which is an esports league. Mm -hmm. And then there were 17 teams that signed up. New York's one of them. And then they had a draft about two months ago. And then we were three of the six players selected to play for New York. And we compete every weekend, uh, Friday or Saturday. This was live TV, so you couldn't mess up. You know, you had to make sure you were you know, saying the right things and obviously, uh, you know, just being yourself. So uh, it, was, it was a lot different experience, but it was cool. So with the draft, how many people did you have to compete against and to be able to get this position? Yeah, so 72,000 people competed uh, wow. during the combat, which is a lot of people. No, and it was even more before that, but it got cut down to 72,000, and then it went from 72,000 to 250, and then from 250 to 102. So. Is it yeah. your round, Davon, that you have to like be on top of your game, literally? It's a, it's a career, so you got to. It was different because, like, who would have ever thought we'll be on the news, so, like, with all those eyes. Can we yeah. make some money? Yeah, you can, if you, you can make some money. If you're good enough, if you, if you got <laughs> that's, the, the That's what I want. I want to know why is there some money. Yeah. Big money involved. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so <laughs> there's a million dollar prize pool for the first that's season. That's stupid money. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For the first season. Okay. And then we're all getting paid at least $32,000 for a course of four to six months. Uh, we're stationed here. We're housed. We're fed. Oh. Uh, insurance. Yeah, so it's a full, full position. It's a full, and we're full here day. through the end of August. So we're excited. When you said, you know, we're getting insurance, we're getting housed, we're fed, like, all that stuff. A oh, million Taking, dollar prize Yeah, a million dollar they were prize like, yeah, They were pretty surprised by that. So it's it's five v five, just like real basketball. So there'll be you know five people on this side, five people on this side, all user controlled. So uh -huh. there's there's no computers or anything like that or AI in the game. I would tell my son like, get off the the box, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Get off yeah. it. And and he was pretty darn good. Maybe he could have been yeah. a gamer. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one of the, the coolest things, right? Is so we're we're inspiring a new generation now and sort of showing them that you can make a career out of this and this is something that you can pursue. Whilst like I'm still attending school, so you can definitely do both. I had so much fun up there and I know these yeah. guys did too. It was just, it was cool doing something live and knowing that we have one shot or one chance to really just say what we have to say and, and I think we executed it so uh, I'm happy with, with how we did. It was crazy because like I would have never thought in a million years that I'd be on TV so it was, it was a surreal moment. The team from New York who's home here in our studios but they're on the road today against the Magic. You got Adam the first, he's at the point, the sharp shooting playmaker, Ye Nats at the pure sharp, Goofy in the middle of the pure rim, Idris at the four, he's a sharp shooting rim attacker, and Nate Cow, the do it all slashy. Magic and Knicks. Control. That's stolen away by Nate, Nate on the break, that's a punch. Adam trying to create. Goofy in the paint, he'll finish. Right now, they're shooting six of nine from the field for the Knicks. Adam gets it to Goofy, and that's an easy finish. And Marley able to take it away. Magic and Tyre take the lead. They throw it up, and Cam throws it down. 
Goofster. And he'll get ripped away by Marley. Control. He'll lay it in, and all of a sudden, the Magic are up six. And then a prompt a timeout by the Knicks. We had a so start offensively. Um, all the other team was, was getting no points, so it hurt us. Nate, he'll step back and take a three. Our shots weren't falling, and um, we went away from our game plan. It's a nice screen from Cam. Cam gets it back. Oh, my. Nate, step back again. Not in rhythm. Especially our three-point shots weren't falling, so anytime we do that, it's kind of tough to say in the game, especially when they were hitting their shots. Control from the elbow, 52 to 38. They've outscored them 22 to eight here in the third period. It set us back a little bit, and it was almost such a big deficit that, that it was hard to come back into, especially when our offense really wasn't, wasn't doing what we wanted to do. Boy, Knicks had such a promising opening win against the Warriors. Lost a heartbreaker last week, and now the Magic have come in and taken care of business. We have a doubleheader this week uh, versus two teams whose styles we really haven't seen before, so we spent a lot of time in film this week. We have two different teams that we're playing that have their own unique way of playing, so I think we prepared pretty well, and you know, hopefully we can go out and leave it on the floor. And they're coming to the game to bring energy, because versus the Magic, we didn't bring any energy whatsoever. I think we might have an archetype switch or two within the lineup, so it's going to be a different look from us offensively and probably defensively too, uh, but we're going to put the time in for the rest of this week to make sure that we know exactly what we want to do and hopefully go out on Saturday and execute it. It's super exciting just to be a part of that moment, and it's insane that the inaugural season was this year and it was something that I was able to be a part of. It was very emotional because... Uh, when I was young, I wanted to go to the NFL. Just being in a draft environment was like crazy. Like they try to make it so real, like walking up, getting your hat, shaking the commissioner's hand. When I got drafted, it was amazing. When I heard it was the ninth pick in the sixth round, Munich were on the clock. And when I heard XKPMR, I shot up immediately and gave my brother a hug. And just seeing all the lights and the, like how the energy that the the city like has is was just crazy and then being in that room and meeting Adam Silver, seeing like the people that you play against all the time in Pro-Am, it was definitely like a dream come true. At the moment it didn't sink in, but as the day went by, I cried. You know, I couldn't believe that I actually made it. Draft day, when I heard my name called by the Knicks, Knicks Gaming, um, I was complete shocked because um, I didn't expect to go to the Knicks, especially that high. And it was really my dream city, so when they called my name, it was just it was just a blessing. I had, you know, sort of predictions about where I thought I could land. And when New York uh, picked me, I was super ecstatic. I was like, okay, that, you know, let's go. I'm excited. I'm on the East Coast. I wouldn't want to be nowhere else. Like, I'm so I'm honored that they chose me and that they believed in me. But just the feeling of knowing that you're one of the first 102 of this revolutionary breakthrough league was incredible. What I was doing before I got drafted, I was working at a GameStop. It was, it's actually about five minutes from where I live. It's around the corner. Um, I love video games so much. Like, I'm always around it. And I thought that was a perfect job for me. So I was working there, getting a, you know, making as much money as I possibly can, especially for me and my daughter. And I continued it. Even when they said that I was getting drafted, I continued to work till the last day. I'm only 19 and I was going to university online. Yeah, I'm studying advertising and public relations at Penn State. It deals a lot with like advertising and PR, so we haven't really dived into that yet so far into the season, but I think as time goes on and we start getting more into social, uh, some stuff I learned from school will probably help out. I think one of the biggest things when it comes to marketing on YouTube is probably consistency. So if you're consistent, uh, your videos sort of market themselves and then from there, the rest of the social world, the rest of the social sphere, Twitter, Instagram, a bunch of great spaces for you to really dive into. And using those platforms, you can attract different audiences. So I think the most important part is being consistent, having quality content. I was actually a student at uh, the University of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I was a ju junior slash senior. I had a couple semesters left. And then I also worked summers at the Wisconsin Country Club. So, And then obviously when this opportunity came up, decided to take it. I was working at a plant 
a plant job called Marley. Uh, you make heaters. Just um, trying to stay stable and help the family. I actually took a, a very risky sacrifice. Um, I actually quit my job before I even knew I made the combine. You could tell really no support was like really true because like it's gaming. So like people would be like, it's a game, like go out and get a real job. Like I just knew myself like I was just too talented. And the only reason I quit my job is to actually make the 2K combine windows. The time I was going to work, the windows was just starting. So I wouldn't be able to qualify for that day. So like one day I just thought, of, thought to myself like, I need to make these windows and make the most of this opportunity. So like I actually just quit so I could be able to qualify for every window.